Let's start with the question. Should I rush B? How? Rushing B on dust 2 is a very well-known strategy. It is a subject to many jokes and memes. I have asked some CS. Go players why is it that well known? They have said, because it is so effective. However, I have found some claims that this strategy is actually ineffective and only used by bad players. My B rushes were also by far not always successful. Which is true. When, if ever, should I rush B? How should I execute this strategy properly? So how can we solve this? There are five possible answers. Answer 1. Don't have the representative to comment so I'll just leave this as an addendum to Delee's comment. Another effective smoke that I have found works well is one that bounces off the left tunnel wall and lands between the tunnel entrance and door, stack. Blocks off all of the right side to let you clear close corners and platform before flashing through to deal with door, window etc. Secondly just to clarify Delee's point 3. Get in means don't stop to take fights. Especially in tunnel entrance where you'll block all your teammates and be an easy spray down. In a B rush you'll typically have pistols or SMGs so your moving accuracy should be fairly decent. Use that to spread out while clearing the site. One or two people will die. Just make sure you use that time to get up close and personal with the on-site CTs. Lastly be careful with your nade usage when you're not with a well-communicating team. Because of the narrow entrance it can be difficult to get out effective flashes without blinding. Your entire team and other nades can be blocked by people randomly stopping. Answer 2. First of all, don't forget to yell, Suka Blatt. Most of it is already covered. I just want to add this. Hug the right side of the tunnel while moving, entering. This gives you a better angle, CTs which are late on B can never shoot into the tunnel. The downside. You're standing in one line. Sometimes you'll all get shot at once if the timing is bad. My friends and I usually do it like this. First player throws a flash to the left side of the tunnel. It bounces off and pops on sight. We all turn around while moving so we don't get flashed. Second player usually throws a smoke the same way to block the sniper position. Answer 3. First of all. Assuming that you are playing in lower ranks you should really try to not overthink a B rush. The first and most important thing is that all teammates take part in the rush and don't stop halfway. You will most likely lose one to two people to get on the site. If you can refrag them you are in prime position to take the round since it's hard to retake B3 vs 3. Having said that there are a number of things you can do to make it easier for your team. Try to use one to two flashbangs that do not blind your teammates. You need to practice this but it's absolutely possible to bounce them off the left wall in a way that you do not get blind at all. Smoke the B doors as soon as possible. Plant the bomb in the open so it can be seen from tunnels. Keep the doors smoked as long as possible. While the doors are smoked it's close to impossible to retake from mid. Keep one player close to the window in order to kill everyone trying to push through. One player should play car. The spot. In order to watch the door smoke and help if there is a lot of pressure at window. Try to keep tunnel control if possible to cut off flanks and exit once the time gets low. As long as you are up in numbers one player can stay in the tunnel and hold the stairs angle. One last thing, if you can avoid it try to not peek mid at all costs. Peeking mid from B is a very CT-sided fight that you don't need to take once the bomb is down. Answer 4. One effective way of rush B is through mid doors. A flash to blind the snipers near the car and a smoke towards the crates that blocks the court. Spawn and a sight, requires at least two players to rush B from there. 
also it requires pinning down the CTs from tunnel and distracting them from the B doors. Answer 5. You should rush B when your full team is friends and being in something like a Skype. Good communication with other players. And having a desert eagle and good aim. I hope these answers helped, and if they did, please drop a comment and subscribe.